Hello guys and welcome back to Lead Logics. This is the night dialer problem from Lead Code. It is a Lead Code medium and the number for this is 935. So many of you might be finding this problem a bit difficult to solve, but I am going to tell you a way that will make this problem super easy for you. So watch the video till the end. So in this problem, initially you are told about what a chess knight is. So a chess knight is a like you can say. Uh, player not player chess knight has uh, some movement like it can move uh, if it moves too uh, straight horizontally and then uh, either uh, one will be vertical like if you see uh, it may move two squares vertically and one horizontally or two squares horizontally and one vertically that means like if it if it moves two horizontally then one vertically and same goes it goes down then it can go left or it can go right one square and then similarly for it if it goes two blocks right then it, it may go one block up or one block down so this is the movement of the chess knight so what we have to do now so suppose we have a chess knight and we have kept the chess knight on a numeric cell you might have seen the old phones keypad phones in which we have this kind of keypad also in the smartphones if you go in the keypad they are, are given this kind of keypads so you can definitely remember what this is so what do you have to do we have to define an integer n such that uh, how many distinct phone numbers of length n can be dialed this we have to define and we are allowed to place the knight on any numeric cell initially and then we should perform n minus 1 jumps to dial a number of length n so so how many distinct phone number of length n can we dial this we have to define and uh, so let's start the problem is initially asking for the number of distinct phone numbers of length n that can be dialed using a chess knight movements first point then we need to find uh, maybe a recursive solution to calculate the count while considering the moves of the knight so let me show you a keypad suppose this is a keypad so what we'll do we'll create an array of moves this array of moves will uh, contain the where the knight can move from a particular index like if it has 0 from 0 it can go to 4 and 6 how suppose we have it at 0 so it can go 1 2 then vertically or 1 2 horizontally and then vertically it can go at 6 or it can go at 4 so similarly we have defined for all the other indexes suppose at 8 it, is, 8 it is given it can go to 1 or 3 so from 8 it can go horizontally to 5 then 2 then vertically at 1 or 3 so 1 3 is given here so this is a moves array so and also we are going to use a cache that will be used for memoization uh, storing previous computed results for optimization so let's start with the coding section So we need to define a mod as well because the answer may overflow so that's why we are defining a mod and then we'll paste here the moves array which we have created so i've copied it from here you can see and write it so this is the moves array and uh, then we are going to create a, the cache array so for that i will be using an int array 2d array of 
the size maybe let's see the constraint so it is given 5000 so we'll take 5001 5001 and this will be 10 because we have 10 numbers and then I think we need to overwrite the function so for that we'll be making an another so we have to pass the n and also a new array of the next numbers <coughs> so the next numbers we have to pass here and in the next number initially we have to give 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 so these are the indexes actually so we have passed the indexes here and then we'll define the you can take uh, other names for the function as well like helper or any other I have taken the same I have overwritten um, I am telling you so that you may not get confused so we have the remaining we will name this remaining here and these are the next numbers So if remaining if remaining equal equal to not zero it will be one. So this is the base case. So base case is if remaining is equal to zero, we have nothing remaining. So we need to simply return the next numbers dot length. Because this will be the final answer. if uh, the remaining equal to 1 otherwise uh, we have to put declare account equal to 0 then we have to iterate on the next numbers so in next number in the next numbers So we pick a current element and then we check this current actually is taken from the cache so if there the cache will be zero then we need to do some computation that means cache equal to zero that means there was no previous record at the particular index and if the cache that is stored in the current is not zero then we can directly do the uh, the operation on the count so if the cache was 0 that is current equal to 0 so we have to recursively call the night dialer again and in this we will do remaining minus 1 and move of the next number otherwise no this we have to make current because we need to update the cache as well so we are updating the cache now if then we have to do operations on count if the current is not equal to zero then this operation will directly be uh, occurring so that's why I'm not using uh, else here and uh, after the recursion is over we, we need to simply return the count of the entire night dialer function so I think so everything is written fine now let's try to submit it on the sample test cases seems fine on the sample test cases
solution is accepted as well with a good memory and a good space you can see 100% 94% so the time complexity for this is actually n into 10 because we are making 10 recursive calls uh, for each number so that is time complexity is o of n because constant is neglected and the space complexity is also o of n because we are using this uh, cache array and moves is a constant but since we have a bigger notation so of o of n so the time space complexity will be o of n if you want to see my uh, c++ javascript or python code you can go in the solutions section and then check this one this says beats 100% here you will find the written so explanation along with the c++ python and the javascript codes so you can see it from here and uh, do remember to upload the solution so and like the video share it with your friends subscribe to the channel if you are new to the channel thank you for watching the video have a nice day